Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another daily video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road. Today's video is going to be on two different Toyota Tundras. Both are going to be magnetic gray metallics, but not in the most common setup that we usually see. This one seen here is a double cab model. I haven't checked the stats on it to confirm, but it seems like there were more 07 to 13 models of the double cabs and less of them in the 14 to current years. Majority of the 14 to current models seem to have been the crew maxes with the five and a half foot beds. The double cabs usually come with a six and a half foot bed. But if you keep watching, the second Tundra in this video has an eight foot bed, which is probably the least common that I've noticed. So which one looks the best for you, and which one is the most functional? Drop a comment down below and let us know. As you can see here, our tech is doing the body mount chop on this one to clear the 35 inch tires. He's shaving it down to make it clean before he welds on the block off plate. And here's how the finished BMC looks, and most people can't even tell that it's even been done. Eighty Eight Rotors is located in the city of South Damani, which is about twenty minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, feel free to give us a call anytime during business hours or shoot us an email over twenty four seven at sales at eighty eight rotors dot com. The King's two point five remote reservoir front and rear shocks are installed. Icon tubular uniball upper control arms are installed as well, and the two inch rear lift shackle. As you can see here, we're also installing a set of AMP Research Electric Side Steps. The AMP Research Electric Side Steps come ready for the crew max. As per instructions, we have to cut it to fit the double cab. Once we cut it, we clean off the edges and replace the end cap. And while that is happening, our other tech is running the wires for the steps and its LED lights. The motor and the brackets are already installed on the vehicle as you can see there. Now that the suspension setup is done, the wheels and tires are already mounted and balanced here as well. 35 12 and a half Toyo Open Country RT tires wrapped on some field vectors in a matte black finish. 18 by 9 with a positive 20 offset. We're going to take this one out for a quick spin before we turn the keys back over to the customer.
Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. You can find us at 88 Rotors Off Road. What do you guys think of the stats on this one? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Next up, we have a similar truck, same size cab, the double cab, but the extra long eight foot bed. We're also doing the same wheels on that one, field vectors, but we're wrapping it up in a 35, 12 and a half BF Goodrich KL2 tire. Also doing a king setup on that one, so keep on watching to see how it comes up. I forgot to record the steps in action on that truck, so you can check out Chris's truck here. And this is the next Tundra we're working on. This is the long bed one we were talking about. And as you can see, a body mount chop is being performed on it right now. Whether you like to lower your car or lift your truck, we've got you covered. We're doing an airlift setup on this Q60 right here. We'll be posting a full video of this one on YouTube shortly. So if you want to get some work done to your car or truck, hit us up. And here's the finished BMC with a fresh coat of paint. Once it dries and gets a little bit of dust on it, it's gonna look exactly like the rest of the underbody of the vehicle. This Tundra did get the same exact suspension setup as the earlier one. This one is also on King's 2.5 remote reservoir front coilovers adjusted to about three inches of lift, a two inch rear lift shackle with King's 2.5 remote reservoir shocks, and some Icon tubular uniball upper control arms. What do you guys think of the extra long bed? You guys like it or not? Drop a comment down below and let us know. And this is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's Tundra video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for stopping on by and checking it out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell. That way you'll get notified tomorrow and every other day when we post a new daily video. Until then, take care guys.